In this video, we'll be replacing our door blinds with blind inserts. Now we have these blinds installed for a couple years and you can see they're a little bit bulky and we wanted to replace them with the blind insert and that's what we're going to do today. So I took a couple shots of the inside and the outside as a reference for before and afters. Now most of these inserts have a little cover that goes on top as a crown molding. What you want to do is take the two clips off and you'll reveal the bracket that you have on the doors. Now these brackets open up pretty easily. You can do it by hand or take a flat headed screwdriver and wedge it on the clip and you can see they open right up. And you want to do the same thing to the other side and you want to slide your blind right out. So once you remove your blind, you'll have a bracket left over with a couple screws. You might have two or four screws and what you want to do is just drive them out with either a screwdriver or your power tool. You'll notice these white caps, they need to be removed with either a knife or a screwdriver. It's pretty simple, you just put your knife behind it, put a little bit of pressure until they pop out. Now that you have all your screws exposed, you can drill them out using a power tool or by hand. Your next step will be to run a utility knife around the outside of the door. Now there is a gasket or glue that will be holding the door in place. And what you want to do is you want to run your utility knife all the way around and down. That will loosen up the hold from the door. And you do want to apply some moderate pressure to all four sides as you work your way down. You will feel the insert and the glue coming apart as you work your way across and all around the side. And once you do remove it, you'll have a clean door to work with. Now it was at this point that we realized that all three of our doors were custom size. And the inserts that we bought from Lowe's did not fit our opening. While we thought about returning the inserts and getting others, we realized that all inserts were standard size and it was our door that had to change. To make the inserts fit, we had to cut the door to the outside of these tabs you see here. Upon comparing the door insert to our doors, we noticed that it was approximately two inches that I needed to cut off. So I measured out seven eighths of an inch on either edge of the door and traced it on the inside as well we have to cut this portion out to make the blinds fit. Now before you start cutting, it's always good to double check and double measure. Final check confirmed that we had the same dimension as the outside of those brackets. Now most outside doors are aluminum, so you will need to pick up a grinding disc that will cut metal. And you can see here, it's got the I-beam and it's suitable for cutting metal. So with my lines traced on both the inside and the outside of the door, I attached the blade and I started to cut the door. Now make sure you are wearing a mask and a face shield or at least safety glasses. There's a lot of sparks that will be flying out as you're cutting metal. Now this step is very important so just make sure you take your time and you work your way slowly through the cuts. The cutting disc I used was four and a half inches which means it did not cut through all the way. So once I was done cutting both sides I ran my utility knife through both the inside and the outside which cut the foam and let me open it right up. After removing the cut pieces, I took a file and I gently smoothed out the edges just to get rid of any sharp edges. Now I also wanted to paint the door, so I went through and I sanded down some of the high spots in the paint. This is optional, but recommended if you want to repaint your door. Now we repeated the process and painted the doors on the inside as well. After the paint is dry, we want to install the new blinds. Now the most important part is installing the gasket on the outside of the door. This will create a watertight seal when it does rain and you want to make sure that the gasket is on the outside of the door. Now there's two ways to install the insert. You can remove your door by taking the hinges off and laying it down flat and now you can sandwich the outside to the inside of the door blind. The other option is installing it with the door in place. Again, this is fairly straightforward if you have two people. You just want to make sure that the gasket is installed on the outside of the door. And when you sandwich it in, you want to quickly put in a couple screws which will set it into place. Now I use my driver to set it into place, but I come back and hand tighten every single screw. These are plastic inserts and the last thing you want to do is over tighten and crack the plastic. Now when installing the screws, you just want to make sure that you're alternating the tightening. So start at 12, work your way down to 6 o'clock, 
move to a three o'clock screw and then back to a nine o'clock and repeat that until all the screws are set in place. Once the screws are in, it's pretty much time to clean up as the major work is done. Some of us were more thrilled to clean than others. The last step is to hide your screw holes and these door inserts do come with the plastic caps. You just push them into place until they're flush with your trim. Now you can see the before and after with the left and the right. We did two more doors after this and here's how it turned out. score the lining you'll see that we kicked it out <laughs> one yeah <laughs>